Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. In this video, I'm going to talk about what channels can be picked up with an antenna, both in general and what channels can be picked up at your specific location. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but don't only do that, hit the bell icon so that way you receive a notification whenever I post a new video. With an antenna, you can pick up local TV stations including ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, PBS, ION, CW, and many more. Unlike the analog days of the past, a digital over-the-air signal is crystal clear, with better picture quality than cable or satellite. In addition to the major networks most of you are familiar with, an antenna will also pick up subchannels or DigiNets, including MeTV, Decades, Antenna TV, Cozy TV, and several others subject to market availability. Most areas pick up between 30 to 50 channels with an antenna. Premium cable channels like ESPN, Hallmark, MSNBC, or Fox News can't be picked up with an antenna. To get those channels, you need a streaming service. Suppose.tv is a great website that will help you choose the best streaming service based on the channels you watch. Keep in mind that it might be worth giving up a channel or two if you can opt for a cheaper streaming service like Philo or Sling TV, especially if you are able to supplement your local channels with an antenna. So what specific channels can you pick up with an antenna at your location? Here's how to find out. Go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, select the check mark that the antenna will be installed at least 30 feet above the ground, even if it's not, and click go. This will provide you with a list of TV stations that can be picked up in your area. Click on each channel to see all subchannels attached. While antennaweb.org is a good starting point, the website doesn't always show all available channels in most locations. In fact, sometimes it will say no channels available when there actually are. The website rabbitears.info is a lot more accurate. To run a reception report on it, click on the Signal Search Map tab. Enter your address, click Search, then move push pin to Center of Map View, change the maximum search distance to 110 miles, and click Go. If the address search option doesn't work, you can either get your GPS coordinates from Google Maps by right-clicking over your house and pasting the coordinates into the form, or on rabbitears.info, you can drag and zoom the pin to where your house is located. Here's what the reception report looks like. In most cases, you can pick up signals down to the poor category, but you should focus on the TV stations in your market. Click on the call letters in the second column, and it will show all subchannels tied to each station. Now that you know what channels are available in your area, what antenna should you buy to pick them up? This really varies depending on a ton of factors. In general, strong signals listed as good on the reception report can be picked up with an indoor antenna in some situations, but a small attic or outdoor antenna is better. Fair signals typically require a medium-sized antenna, while poor signals will require a large antenna installed outside. I include a link to some recommended antennas in the description of the video, but keep in mind the one you need really depends on a ton of factors beyond just a signal strength, including what frequencies are in your area and how many trees are around your house. It gets even more complicated when TV signals come from different directions. If you want the best antenna for your location to pick up as many free channels as possible, Consider signing up for my antenna recommendation service on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your exact location, take a look at the frequencies, signal strength, and even tree coverage, determine what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 different antenna models and actually installing them in four TV markets. Antennas truly are not a one-size-fits-all model, and investing in an antenna recommendation from me can prevent you from wasting hundreds of dollars on antennas, amplifiers, and other equipment not sued for your area. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video, and if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, make sure to check out some of my other videos as well, as there's a ton of great information in them for first-time cord cutters.
An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in the video and you can also click the thanks button. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link below. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.